All right, good afternoon, um, Math 270 students. My name is Dr. Ross, and I'm your instructor this semester, or this trimester, rather. And I had fully intended to meet class with you tonight, and I first want to offer an apology for that. Um, I was at the clinic this morning for a couple of health issues, and just feel like it's better for all of us if I just stay put tonight. Um, but I'm absolutely available to help you. And so I want to kind of talk through the course with you, kind of tell you where everything is. Um, in the site, kind of help you get started with that. So the first thing I want to mention is um, if you bought a textbook, the, the textbook is not what you need. So you may have purchased that prior to the class starting. So if you got that, you'll need to return that to the campus bookstore. The good news about that is that textbook is about $220. What you do need is the My Math Lab access code, and it's only about $100. So you should get some money back uh, to, to be able to do that. So please take care of that and take care of it, to, you know, today and tomorrow if at all possible. So in our course site, your course should come up like this, and pretty well everything that you need is going to be found under modules or under this My Lab and Mastering. But I want to start through with the modules uh, link. And so um, this is a copy of the syllabus that I want to go through with you. This document is a, uh, a document that William Carey post into Canvas. So um, you know, you, if you're familiar with Canvas, then you're familiar with it. And there's no reason to, to look at that. And then the other important document for us is the course calendar. So I'm going to talk about each of those with you. So the syllabus. And I had originally printed those out, but nonetheless, you're responsible for the things that are on here. Um, so the syllabus, there's my contact information. When you email me at that William Carey email address, it actually will be forwarded to, um, to my institution's email address. So I, I work full time for uh, Gulf Coast Community College. I'm chair of the math and computer science and business department at the Perkinson campus. So you may get a response from um, an MGCCC email address. Don't let that bother you. This telephone number is actually my cell number, and, and so feel free to text that if you have problems. Just be sure and tell me who you are with every new text because I don't keep those and, and delete them pretty regularly. So great ways to get a hold of me if you need to be able to get a, a, in contact with me, okay? Um, this course is taught using the My Math Lab and Canvas platforms. It's, uh, you, you won't need a textbook. Every grade that I take will be on my math lab and you need to set that account up right away because you've got assignments due even this week. And then this is the ISBN number uh, for my stat lab access kit. Your bookstore should have a copy of that as well. Um, the attendance policy with a hybrid class, it gets a little bit different. So um, first of all, We've got three in-class meetings, and with the exception of tonight, so we're now down to two in-class meetings. So during those weeks, I'll need you to be present in those classes, and those dates are already published on the course calendar, and we'll, we'll talk about those as, as they are on the um, uh, college schedule as well. Those dates were, were, were uh, laid out way in advance so that you can make plans. You'll need to be considered active each week. Every single week, you've got something to do in the My Math Lab, so there's not any week where you'll just have nothing to accomplish, and, and you'll need to spend some time doing that. Your grade in my class is going to be made up of five tests, and they'll be worth 75%, and then your homework assignments, which are worth 25%, and typically I drop one of those, but I may or may not, so don't count on that. Do your best on each of those. Probably the trickiest thing for students to kind of wrap their brain around is that in my class, everything is due on Friday at lunchtime, 12 o'clock p.m. Um, a lot of your online teachers, a lot of your hybrid teachers have stuff due at midnight, and I understand that. My stuff is due at lunchtime, so every assignment needs to be completed by um, that Friday due date. You can redo the homework an infinite number of times, so if you made a 50, work it till you make a 100. Uh, and so you'll want to do that to learn the material. But again, at the end of the week, you need to have the grade that you want there and then and that uh, whatever your final grade is by that Friday at 12 will be the grade in the class. Um, and then uh, again, five tests and those will also be due by um, 12 o'clock lunchtime, 12 o'clock p.m. on the Friday in which they are due. I use a 10 point grading scale. Uh, if you have some sort of disability, and I've had students with those, you're absolutely entitled to accommodations, um, and, and please get with me if that applies to you. 
Uh, there's a statement on academic integrity. Uh, please read that. We're out of hurricane season, so canceling class other than the illness of your pr professor shouldn't be an issue. Um, but at any rate, there's our um, plan in case of a disaster, in case we need to plan, uh, be able to make it work or whatever. Know that regardless, if there's a tornado and, and power lines and down are down and so forth, I'll absolutely work with you to get that made up. So don't, don't stress any of that. If there's an event like that, take care of yourself, take care of your family as, as you should. Um, there's our student learning outcomes and that constitutes the syllabus there. So if you've got any questions, again, please email me about anything that's on the syllabus. Probably the most important document to you is going to be this course calendar. So let me open that, just look at it. It's got everything laid out for you. And so again, everything is due at Friday at, at 12. Um, my weeks kind of run from, typically, from Saturday to the following Friday. So you can do stuff at any point during that week. Um, I care less when you do it, right? As long as it gets done. So don't feel like you have to wait until Friday to take a test or to complete a homework, because you do not. Um, you, you want to spend some time all throughout the week, I would think, before doing any of that. Um, but nonetheless, you can do it at any point. Just the final deadline is going to be Friday at, um, at 12. So this is our first week. Classes begin today, so that's why it starts on Monday. And once again, I'm sorry I'm not there with you. Um, but the sex topics are 1.1 and 1.2. Um, you'll want to post to the discussion board and, and That'll be under modules as well. I haven't added that, but it will be by the time I post this video. Um, post to the discussion board to the certification form just saying you've read and understand the policies. I'll give you a blurb there to kind of copy. Homework zero is the easy 100 for you. It just shows you how to put in your answers into My Math Lab. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with My Math Lab or not, but it's not just very few questions are just totally multiple choice. There's some computation and things. But at any rate, those two assignments are due on Friday of this week, the 16th. Um, we're off next week for Thanksgiving break. That's good. And if you'd like me to open stuff in advance, I'm happy to do that and let you work on it during Thanksgiving. I don't think I did any of that. Just making the assumption that you probably didn't want to work over Thanksgiving. But at any rate, the next week, week two, will start on the 24th. And you actually have a test that week. And it will cover everything that you've done from that week from the beginning until the end of that week. So 1.1 to 2.2. And again, that's going to be due on the 30th. So you kind of see how that falls. Uh, we will meet class on December the 1st, so plan to be in class that night um, to talk about measures of center and so forth. Um, and then we're off for an extended period for Christmas holidays. That's great. So you've got plenty of time to wrap your brain around everything that's do uh, being done. And then we're meeting class on uh, the last time that we'll meet is January the 28th. So five tests. You don't have to come to class to take those tests. I'll assume that you're, you're taking those and, and applying act academic integrity to that and you're doing all that on your computer. So on a lot of those tests, group you'll need um, tables and things that are in your in your ebook and so forth so you just about will need your notes there and I kind of work on the assumption that you're using your notes for that so be sure and ask me about anything that's on there y'all plan your calendar around those due dates so that we're not late with any of that that gets people in a bind put in your calendar when Christmas holidays are over so that you know that class has begun again and I'll try to email you as well to do that all right, so that um, certification board posting will be under this miscellaneous section, and I'll post that as soon as I'm through with this video. All right, for tonight, I had planned to go with you over these uh, over these PowerPoints with you, and so I've just uploaded those. Don't just look at them in PowerPoint. Actually run the PowerPoint, because a lot of them are, you know, a question, and then the answer will appear as well. So I want you to have the experience of, you know, um, going over the material with those. Um, but at any rate, four, four things from chapter one that you'll want to look at. You might want to play around with these wet, random questioning. These are just some extra questions. You'll, of course, want to be going through the homework as, as well. And, and again, you have an infinite number of opportunities on the homework. On the um, My Lab and Mastering link, and unfortunately, yours is going to look differently than mine. You'll want to set this account up. I've said that a couple of times. Um, but set it up quickly. And you've got... Um, 
the assignment manager is should be there or all assignments should be there and I'm gonna click on that again mine's gonna show you everything for the semester or the trimester perhaps not this is um, so we've got um, for homework zero and um, these should be closed I'll go in and, and, and fix that but you, you'll have zero and, and one that are due this week so I'll just open up one of those so there's all the questions that are due and it'll tell you what your score is so just just work through those uh, for me this week it may or may not load it's this so it just talks about how to put in your answers again that should be an easy um, 100 for you um, The other thing is, and I'm, I've been having trouble getting to this, is the, um, let's go to course home. Close this out. Course home really has all the tools and things that you need to be successful in this class. So without a doubt, I'm here to help you. I'll be happy to answer emails and all of those kind of things that go along with that. But it is a hybrid class, and a majority of which is online. So you'll want to find some things in here to help you as well. So um, the the main things that I encourage students to do are under this multimedia library tab. And depending on the section and the chapter that we're working on, for example, this is going to be material on chapter one, and maybe I just want to do an overview. And maybe for now, I want to see everything that's that's there. You're not going to want to use everything. You're going to probably want to glance at these PowerPoints. Um, you're probably going to want to glance at these videos, um, maybe these lecture videos, maybe the textbook. So you might want to just at least look at those um, four things each week. Listen, treat it as a real class. Find you some time during the week to do your work and to go through the material. But these are all the things that are available in Chapter 1, Section 1. There's a PowerPoint, a lesson in the textbook to look at, and some, some videos to look at. And it kind of shows you how long those things are. So spend some time in there finding the things and working on the things that you need. Again, under Assignments is where all your homework and tests and all will be. And again, I'll, I'll take those two things off because they should not be available as of yet. Okay, so you'll want to play around with that and kind of surf around the course and kind of get familiar with that. If you have any issues, of course, please, please, please talk with me. Um, you can go into grades to check your grades, just like in all of your um, uh, Canvas courses. You can get to My Lab and Mastering from here. I put a link there on, on that toolbar as well that takes you to the same place. Um, so again, our, our assignment for tonight is to look at those PowerPoints, get familiar with My Math Lab, and complete the first two homework assignments uh, that are that are available. Um, and as always, please, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And, and once again, I apologize, I'm not with you tonight. Um, if I can meet with you, if I need to meet with you during the next week and talk about anything, I'm happy to do that. Um, just just send me an email and we'll, we'll get together, okay? Uh, I look forward to working with you this trimester. Uh, send me an email or give me a text or call if you have any concerns. Good luck.